Tonight, we start featuring three students recognized by the former president of the United States for their volunteer service to their communities. Our David Sears has the story of one young lady who has spent the last year and a half making sure those in need of clothes always have a place to turn in winter or summer. Thank you for your devotion to service and for doing all you can to shape a better tomorrow for a great nation. Barack Obama. Just a portion of the letter Smithson Valley senior Caitlin Ekoff received from then President Barack Obama for her volunteer service over the last year. Uh, I was pretty excited. Caitlin, one of 10 students in Texas receiving the President's Volunteer Service Award, she runs a nonprofit clothes closet called Isaiah 58. It's the Bible verse where he says that we need to open our doors to those in need and clothe those that don't need, that don't have clothes. And Caitlin has actually been doing that since September of 2015. Over that time, she has closed some 50 families in the Bulverdian Spring Branch community. When they need clothes, um, they come to it, they contact us and we get their sizes. And if they need coats for the winter or clothes for the summer, we work with them and the community to get them what they need. She takes calls and she takes the closet to various community events. It's a lot of hard work, but like if you just keep pushing through it and like ask God for help, he'll help you and provide. Not only has Caitlin spent a lot of her time serving her Spring Branch community, but she's also spent time serving a community in a foreign country. Caitlin spent two months last summer in Guatemala teaching kids at a safe home English, math, and much more. A lot of them didn't know how to play or like have come from like very bad experiences and so it was just like getting to know them and like helping them open up. Again, Caitlin turning someone's bad experience into something good. David Sears, KSAT 12 News. And Caitlin also received the Prudential Spirit of Community Award. She's headed to Washington College in Maryland and wants to become a neurosurgeon.